What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome back to Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. So we are going to grab the two of them and we're going to start finding our way across the bridge here. Whoop, shoot. Okay, now run. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> Reload. Ugh. Actually, I just did a regular save, so if this doesn't put, where I, put me where I want it to, I will have to load the regular save, and then make another quick save. Okay, looks like we're fine. Alright, so I gotta watch where she goes, because basically what I should do is I should wait till she comes all the way over here and starts looking across the other side. Once she does that, I can run the both of them across the bridge. Oh, why couldn't you crouch, Mugen? You are so much slower. Okay, you know, it's fine. Maybe they'll see, but they're not going to find me when I come over here into the bushes. So, they'll stay hidden and everything's okay. If they come too close, then I can always take them out. The three of them are standing in a big old group, so... We must show prudence. That's a lot of guys. Okay, I think we're okay. They're they're not gonna find me. They'll give up here in just a second, and everything will be okay at that point. So, from here. Okay, there's a civilian over there, but there's only the two guards kind of patrolling around that could notice me enter the gate. So I think that's going to be our point of entra uh, entrance. And her line of sight shouldn't include the bridge or i mean it will include the door but we're crouched at this point so she won't be able to see me huh okay wait a minute so well no that's not really all that helpful it would allow her to use the ladder but see mugen can't even get down there to begin with so I mean, he could get down there using the ladder, but he wouldn't be able to get back up via an alternate route, so it doesn't do me any good. Okay. Oh, boy. Where's that old guy going to go to? Okay, good. He's moved on. And the two of them can get in the bushes. Now, did that guy just, like, run into that shack? Yeah, he goes inside and stays there for a minute. Okay, now this guy's patrolling around. But it's really just a civilian up that way. That's a really, really long vision. I don't think anybody's going to notice if I take him out and then hide his body up there. Which will also make it easier for me to keep moving. On my way. Okay. Quick save first. I'm gonna wait till the old guy moves, and then we're gonna come up here. And the old guy doesn't see a thing. Awesome. Now there's a nice bush up there that I can hide in. There's one over there I can hide in, so let's go hide in that bush. Sweet, okay, now I'm still trying to figure out what the fastest way to get to Takuma is gonna be. And he's just right up there, so I think I need to... 
Nope, I got no idea. Uh, okay. Okay. All right, it's gonna be down those stairs and in there, which gets me out. No, that's because that's gonna take me over to the other side where the bell is. But I'll bet you this can take me up here where I could take him out. And Mugen could take the two of them out at once, so maybe that's what we need to do. So very, very many possibilities. And I have no idea which one is the one I want to use. Okay. Let's make a quick save and start moving down here while nobody's paying attention. These rocks might prove useful. I could throw them on unsuspecting opponents. Oh, could you now? Hear the stories surrounding this particular battle strategy. He can throw rocks at people? Because that's pretty sweet. Okay. Um, I'm going to have Aiko come out. Damn it. Okay, well, that's how we saved. I should have had her put on her disguise and just try this. I noticed now that there's a shortcut passage down there, so I'm going to go open that, and then we'll see where we go. So, let's switch to Aiko, put on her disguise. Oof. Good. And now she can just come down here and go open that. So, you know, yay us. Now she's also supposed to be able to distract people. So where has this opened up passageways to? Pretty much nowhere in particular, I guess. That's the problem. Like, I can see the entrance to it, but I don't see any exit to it. Are you mocking? Well, alright. Let's just come back out. Okay, you can come up here. And then we can switch to Mugen, and he can join you in just a minute. Keep doing that. Okay, I need to wait for this guy to get out of my way. Or the Shogun. These rocks might prove useful. I could throw them on unsuspecting opponents. I am eager to hear the stories surrounding this particular battle strategy. Kind of tempted to try it and see just how far Mugen can actually throw those. But at the moment, I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Okay, now they're both inside, and I can try and figure out a good method for getting them through. I still think I like the idea of bringing them up that way. So, I'm going to take both of them. We have the advantage. And they're going to come out this way. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, um, I need to take just her then. And she can come hang out over here. Once she's there, I'll have her take off her disguise and wait for this guy to come down here. Then take him out. Is that your shinobi friend? I am looking forward to making his acquaintance. Perhaps you and he can trade Good. stories regarding your training and experience. A shinobi from Iga and a kunoichi from Shinano. It will be quite the exchange, I'm sure. Okay, now here's the next trick. How far a vision range does he have? Okay, we're going to save this before we try this, but I'm just going to have him go charging in and see if he can take him out. Run, 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 run! Get him, get him, get him. Okay. 
the stat thing. Okay, so he got hit once. But that's okay. He's still doing all right health-wise. He's a big guy. He can take a hit. And I'm really more interested in just finishing this than doing it perfectly. All right. Actually, Aiko, you come down here. And then I'll have her put her disguise back on once again. Because then she can come through here and clear the way for Mugen on the other side. Yeah, right over here. I guess the next question then is how exactly do I want to get Mugen over there? All right. So let's do a save. Huh. Are you mocking? Well, there's another thing. If the two of them are there, they don't notice. Now, I don't know who else is witnessing that conversation, but we're going to try this with Mugen. I'm going to have him go ahead and head inside here. He's crouched, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to quick save. And as soon as the two of them are conversing, we'll have him pop out of the door and do his whole whirlwind storm thing. Then have him hide. We will both thank you once we have freed him. Um, my biggest concern now is the fact that, of course, the bodies are still here. Can you take them through there? No, he can't take them through there. So the bodies are just there, and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so Mugen, get your ass out there and go hide in the bushes again. Because I don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh, wait. No, this should be fine. Because the only guy that was going to check over there is the guy that's lying dead next to his buddy that they were having a conversation with. So I think we're okay. All right. So back to her. You see, he's a samurai. So I have to take him out with Mugen. I'm not going to be able to worry about that one the easy way. And there's another samurai over there. So those are both people who are going to recognize her in her disguise and will be screwed. Okay. So I think instead what I need to do... Oh, man. We need to start trying to pick them off one at a time again. But that is kind of easier said than done. How am I going to pull this one off? Okay. Let's have her sneaky. That didn't work. Reload the save. I waited too long. They came back around the other side, which kind of ruined everything. Oh, man. Okay, we're all the way back here. That's all right. We could not have done it without him. I never thought I would get the chance to thank him. We will both thank you once we have freed him. Okay. New save, now that I don't have to redo that. It will be done. Okay, now there's the two that caught me last time, so just wait for them to move past. And then we'll get in a bush. They can see through my disguise. I should keep my distance. When it is finished, I Okay.
Okay, I'm not really sure what this is going to do, but we're going to try this. Head on down here. And when you get down there, I'm going to have her put her disguise back on. I keep changing my mind as to whether or not I want to do that or not. Wow, that didn't work at all. Okay. Well, then we just won't take it off. I know that the samurai can see through the disguise. They probably can't do it unless I'm within their direct visual range, though. They can see through my disguise. I should keep my distance. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm wrong. Seriously? So they can see her from her entire from their entire field of vision away. That's really gonna complicate things. How in the world am I going to pull this off? There's nowhere she can go without being seen by the samurai. I mean, I can try to take people out one at a time from the bushes, but none of these guys really have a good ranged attack either. Alright, well, you know what we haven't tried yet? I haven't learned how her whole art of conversation thing works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here they can see through my disguise. and I see what happens if I try to distract these guys. Okay, so they really just stay in the same place, but you can get them to turn their head a different direction. So that's really all that's going to do. But I just can't do anything with that samurai up there in the corner. I need to find a way to start taking them out. Alright. So come back over here. We're going to have to take her disguise off because she's the only one who can really stealth her way through this. I need her to stealth over and take out the straw hat dude. But because she can't stealth... What? Ugh. They didn't notice me last time I did that. Alright, try again. Must have been from when she distracted him. It changed his... eye line and basically forced it into that mode. Okay. They can see through my disguise. I should keep my distance. Should come down here. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Oh, but he's gonna see, isn't he? Damn it. I just don't know what I'm gonna do to take these guys down. Because no matter where I go, like, all of them are are protected. Every single one of them is going to be seen from somewhere. So, I mean, I can't take him out without alerting him and vice versa, so I almost have to take them out simultaneously. Plus, these guys are patrolling, which is going to make it even harder. I seriously don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to figure this one out and get back to you in the next episode because I just don't even know what to do with this. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this in the series thus far, and we will pick this one up in the next episode and hopefully make a little more progress than we have in this last one. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that like button. Yeah, excuse me. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down in the section below. And as always, I'll see everyone in the next one. Catch you later.